Hello everyone, I'm the Crumulant Archer and welcome to Mutant Year Zero, Road to Eden, and this is a demo version. Uh, Mutant Year Zero is coming out on the 4th of December, so it's a, you know, a little, just slightly less than a month from now. Um, but they sent out this limited press demo to some of us recently, so I thought I'd check it out and um, play it with you guys. Mutant Year Zero is a xcom -y type game. It's a... Uh, it's got tactical, turn-based combat, but it's supposed to have a little bit more exploration. And let me turn down the volume just a little bit here. There we go. Um, it's supposed to have, have a little bit more exploration, a little bit more real-time sections. The parts that aren't in combat are supposed to be sort of real-time. Um, I haven't played it at all yet. My email just came in like half an hour ago. Um, so we're going to dive in and we'll learn things together. Probably normal difficulty. Some experienced tactical games. Check. Alright, that's fine. Iron Mutant. No, we're not going to do that. <laughs> I know that's the proper way to play those things, but not right now. Maybe if we play the, the full game for real later, we can do Iron Mutant mode. I don't know what the 20-sided die is for. Not that I'm against 20-sided die, I just don't know what the significance is another day another mission risking our necks for the ark you know i ask myself ducks why are you out here and you know why the ark's water pump is broken again and hammond said he needs more scrap to fix it yeah well we'd do it a lot better if he'd sent us somewhere with actual scrap to find why do you have to be so annoying come on we gotta head back before Prep closes for the night. Okay, so let's see. Looks like I can spin things around here. Alright, I've got uh, control of the Warthog guy. I can, apparently F splits up. I can see from the bottom left hand corner. That turns on my flashlight, turns it off. Trust me, I'm not annoying. Shut the hell up. Wanna see annoying? I can show you annoying. What's wrong with you? We have a map. I guess we're here. Zone map. Squad. Oh, here we go. So mutations. Here's our uh, mutations are either major, minor, passive. Stat bonuses are permanent. Applied regardless of loadout. Loadouts can be changed in the inventory out anytime outside of combat. So obviously we don't have any mutant like points available, but these are the kind of things we can do here. We've got uh, running gun enables an action after sprinting, destroys cover, health booster, yeah that kind of stuff. And then we got this dude over here, ducks. So they're Borman and ducks. Critical chance, it's more health boosters. We got our inventory, ducks has a crossbow and a stinger which is a pistol, a backpack, and nothing else. This dude's got a scatter, a shotgun, and also a stinger. Squad. Zone map. All right, cool. So I guess we'll just go looking around. Let's go this way. Let's go the opposite way that the game is telling us we should go. <laughs> it's like a tree house there. Can't get up there. So I'm guessing the light is for when we want to stealth, like turning off the lights for when we want to stealth. What does this button do? This apparently is our objectives. Oh, they're, they give them telling us where to go. Okay. I'm trying to jump over the obstacles, but there doesn't appear to be a jump. Hold Q to see, to see zone over you. Yep. So I can't zoom in or out. I was trying to see if I could zoom in or out. I don't appear to be able to. Unless it's a uh, a different key than I'm thinking it is. Nope. I think tab switches me. Yeah, so it switches characters. So you can control somebody different. Jackpot. We got ourselves some scrap metal, Borman. This is worth a lot of grog back at the Ark. 
Rare scrap. Excellent. See if we can take these guys out. I'm guessing that this is like the visual range. This red line here. Wonder if we can get just one. Whoops. So what is this this ambush is like a underscore? Like there's this line at the bottom. It was a spacebar, probably. There we go. All right, combat is turn-based. Each stalker gets two action points per turn. Some action points, such as some actions such as shooting, throwing, or sprinting, will end your turn once used. Okay, so if we go, so that's gonna be. One hundred percent chance to hit that guy. Fifty percent to hit that guy. All right, you go here, and then take a shot at this guy. Nice. Bye bye. Oh, we actually did ambush them. Nice. Low cover grants 25%, full cover grants 75%. Flanking uh, cover position will cancel its defense bonus. All right. Can I make it here? We'll alert new unit, all right. Let's go here. And we'll see if we can hit him. Only 50% chance, so we might not make it. Nope. Alright, you. Why don't you come here? Oh, you know, Q to rotate the camera? Okay. Fire. Oh, not a, not a full hit. Uh oh. He's gonna get whacked. Yep. Alright, well, let's just do the. What are these other things? We got a reload option. We got a throw, overwatch, heal. Well, let's just shoot him. Enough. Yeah, baby. F to regroup. Goes this far south before, right in our neighborhood. I don't like it. Some scrap. Anything good on this plane? That's a... That's a... We saw one of these things once. Filled with zone dogs, right? Oof. The ancients sure knew how to build big pieces of garbage. <laughs> it's like that. I think I see something on the far side of it, though. I do. Yeah. Get that scrap. Scrap it up, my friend. Supposed to go that direction, which means we're gonna go this direction, looking for scrap. Oh, what's that? Old tools scrap. So I don't know if there's any actual difference in the different types of scrap, even though they're called different things. This is like a lake or a pond here which I can't go in okay what is that I see some sort of red light in the distance oh hello hold it bulls I don't like the look of that big one we have to be sneaky okay here's the plan 
We turn off our lights, then hug the water. Go around them. Red Skulls. Enemies with Red Skulls are too high level for your team and will kill you. <laughs> this is very straightforward. Avoid Red Skull enemies and explore the zone to find encounters that will match your team's level. Okay. But he's got stuff behind him. I will rip off their tiny stalker arms and beat their faces Wow, level 55. Die. Face is too ugly to beat. No one loves a stalker. Give me the stalkers. Let them come. Where are you? Ark don't even love stalkers. <laughs> See what? What level am I? Do we know? One. We're literally level one. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Just wanted to know how how ridiculously out leveled we were. Yeah, you know, some games start you at like level five or something. All right. Done with this zone, I guess. Scope out enemy positions before committing to an ambush. You never know who might be hiding in the shadows. All right. New location discovered east outpost. Right there. Okay. The arcs up ahead. Home sweet home. Oh, I'm going to kiss that elevator when I see it. Get upstairs, take a bath. Get a grog with the boys. Get another grog with the boys. Foot massage. Ah, oh, it's gonna be great. <laughs> yeah, I'm super excited about this game. I'm, I'm so happy they've get, let me on this. See this little demo here, because I was I've been following it for quite a while now. Um, because I love these types of games. And I just feel like I kind of missed the boat on X on the um, XCOM. Stuff. Campsite. Looks like a family lived here. Lived here and died here. Nothing like a bunch of skeletons to put your mind at ease. You can heal. Healing outside of combat refills, refills you to full health. I don't feel like we're going to need that right now, but who knows, that could end up being a terrible thing for me to say. That's not anything. We're fine. I was just trying to learn the mechanics there as I was clicking on some random stuff. I think I see some scrap back there. Uh, this game rewards you for being a nook and cranny player, which is my natural natural style of play, so. Oh, I see some bad guys in the distance. There's a cabin up ahead. Definitely feel a ghoul vibe coming off of it. So we run in? Guns blazing? Too dangerous. If we're sneaky, we can get into a good position. A good position keeps us alive. I Turn off your flashlight. see three of them. If you're undetected, you can scope out the enemy position and kill isolated weak units using your silent weapons. This can tip the balance in your favor by reducing numbers. All right, how do we know what our silent weapons are? I mean, I'm guessing his crossbow is a silent weapon. Oh, hey, almost missed the scrap. Hungry, hungry. I guess we take the arc. Taste the mutants. <laughs> Love me some mutants. <laughs> there we go. Rip their hearts. Crush their hey hey hear that you hear that noise I hear my stomach hmm. hungry kill all right so there's that guy there were three of them though so I think there's one that's like rat like on patrol I saw three of them in the cutscene. All right, let me get this duck. There he is, yeah. I assume high ground is a useful thing to have. It's 
spread out. Well, that wasn't a great move, but whatever. I don't like splitting up. My old old D and D instincts are telling me not to split up, but that high ground seems too useful to not use. All right, so can I ambush this guy? I don't know what that noise was. Hmm. Critical chance hidden. Throw grenade. I guess. I guess we got to shoot this, which is not good because this is not my. This is not my silent weapon. Three damage, three damage. Well, let's do it anyways, why not? And we miss. Activating this unit will engage it in, into combat, ignoring it. Activate it, yep. Yeah. 75%. Alright, we're not doing this right because we're not doing the ambush, but I'm. I think I'm going to go ahead and do this anyways. Serves you right. You finally figured out how to use that thing. Take the swine. I'll kill you. Oh, okay. That's not great. <laughs> Stalker takes too much damage to bleed out. Move close to the med kit to save him. Okay. Close your eyes and go to space. Actually, hang on. Can I move here? How did that guy not get hit? I, I shot him. Holds nothing but death. Well, see, that's why you should actually do what the game tells you to do and actually ambush people. Lesson learned. Alright, we're here. Okay. Let's do this properly this time. Alright, so now we just wait on the dude. Uh, well, oh, no, oh, no. We'll wait for him to swing back over here. Ambush. Dux was caught sneaking. Uh oh. Well, let's see if it, maybe it won't matter if we kill this guy. Bingo. You ain't half bad for a newbie. Hey, level up. There you go. Level up. When your soccer team levels up, each mutant gains a mutation point. Mutation points can be used to unlock powerful combination mu combat mutations or to help improve your stalker's stats such as health and movement range. Alright, so let's look at what we can do. We have a single point. So we can give them a health booster or we can save it. Oh, this guy can do this. Let's do this. Skull Splitter. 100% critical chance and 25% accuracy. Yes. Oh, he's actually mutating. I wasn't expecting that. Alright, I guess... 
I'm gonna go ahead and give this guy just one more health here. And we can start saving them in the future. But this dude's kind of a tank, so might as well use him properly. Oh, that's not the button I wanted. Okay, right. back me up. Alright, I'm thinking I'm gonna slide around here. And shoot this guy from behind. If we get behind this thing here... Put this target set, target's out of reach from here? Fifty percent, huh? Nope, we're not as close as I thought we were. Alright, well... Can I just back out of this? Yes, F. All right, can we get in a broken gun? Weapon parts. Weapon parts can be spent to upgrade your weapons in the arc at Delta's. Oops. So I get for staying in there reading for too long. We got seen. All right, he's gonna need to heal. Assuming he survives, we're gonna need to heal. He's on Overwatch. Okay. Alright, I got like no shots on these guys. Yeah. Best we got here. Oh, 100% chance. Never mind. Enjoy your Overwatch. You did it, kid. Alright, I'm gonna get this guy close. I need to heal him. Take some damage here, probably. Oh, good miss. Excellent. Alright, let's move up here. And just shoot him. Don't it. And then, does he have a shot? No. Alright. No ammo and equipped weapon. Reload. Alright, from here I have... From here I'd have a 100% chance. Let's step out. Oh, okay, never mind. I did not have enough movement for that. Oh, good. Where can I go? If I go here, I have no shot. Oh crap. Misclick. That's not great. I think we can kill him though, so let's just try this. Yeah! We did good. Well. Another level up. Wow, that was fast. I thought that, was, thought that was something. It's not anything. Oh, I see something back here, though. We grow. Okay. Radio! Radio! Artifact collected. Boombox. Strange and talking Bach that hisses at you, like a snake, when powered on. Sometimes, depending on where it has been placed, it will speak to you with beeps, whistles, or even faint voices. Includes a handy slot on the front for keeping things. Chronicle Zweeb, I guess that's the name of the person who wrote this. Use artifact points to buy upgrades to the art. Look at this beauty. 
the ancients left a lot of ugly junk behind, but once in a while you see something like this. Wonder what these buttons are for. I wouldn't touch it if I were you. I'm not kidding around. Lay off the buttons. What's up your butt? That's a bomb, all right. They used to call it a boom box. <laughs> touch that red button, and it goes boom. Don't be pretending you know what any of this crap is. We'll bring it back to the Ark and show it to Prip. Ask him what it's worth on the black market. All right, let's move on. I assume we're moving on to the next section here. I don't know. Yeah, looks like it. Of course the world ends. You did it to us. When the ice melted, you said nothing. When the plague spread, you did nothing. When the nukes dropped, you became nothing. At least that's what the Elder says. But cheer up. You'll be happy to know that despite your mistakes, life remains. That's good. In a small settlement high above a raging river, people are living and thriving. We call it the Ark. The Ark is humanity's last outpost. A lonely island in an ocean of chaos. Within these walls, we help each other create a new civilization on the ruins of the old one, with the guidance of our leader, the Elder. The Elder tells us we're safe as long as we never leave, because outside these walls lies the zone, the never-ending wasteland. A mass grave spanning the planet, Littered with your crumbling monuments to your hubris and arrogance. What the Elder chooses to lovely. tell us is our food and water supplies are running dangerously low. That's why he relies on stalkers. Adventurers who leave the Ark, explore the zone and scavenge for precious resources. Stalkers are tough enough to resist the rot and they got the smarts and the firepower to keep the zone ghouls at bay. Stalkers have to be more than human. That's me, Mr. More Than Human, a.k.a. a mutant. I look weird to you, but hey, you look weird to me. So let's leave it at that. <laughs> if the Stalkers come back from the zone alive, the Ark survives another day. If the Stalkers don't come back, the legacy of mankind will be lost forever. At least... That's what the Elder says. So yes, essentially we just finished the tutorial. Mutant Year Zero, Road to Eden. Cool. Make fights easier by taking out stragglers and stealth kills before tackling the main pack. Okay. Almost home back to the art. Home. The elevator's up ahead. All right, I'm gonna stop here for today. Um, we'll pick up more with this demo tomorrow, but this is Mutant Year Zero. Uh, Road to Eden. That's what the subtitle is. Forgot it for a second. It's actually coming out on December fourth. This is a limited demo that they sent out to some press people. Um, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider leaving me a like. Helps out a great deal. And consider subscribing if you want to see more videos in the future. I am, as always, the Criminal Archer, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much.